All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, they're looking for opponents for Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Ocho Cinco. Um, he's supposed to be fighting on the Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul undercard, if you hadn't heard. And he apparently ducked the fade with former teammate Adam Pacman Jones. Let's talk about it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. It says, in hours leading up to the Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather's boxing match with Jake Paul, none other than former Cincinnati Bank receiver Chad Johnson, will step into the ring and fight another celebrity or athlete. The fight will take place in Miami Hard Rock Stadium. You know, Chad is from Miami. We don't ne know yet whom Johnson will be facing, but we know it won't be former Bengal, won't be another former Bengal per football talk, uh, per pro football talk, excuse me. Uh, there was talks of uh, Johnson facing Adam Pacman Jones, but Johnson wasn't having it per source. Johnson, who has agreed to be on the card, refused to fight Adam Jones. Jones and Johnson each have plenty of fame attached to their name for reasons other than their NFL career. While Johnson's been in the recent spotlight for more positive purposes, Jones has ran into trouble since he hung up his cleats. Excuse me. Jones has ran into trouble since he hung up his cleats after the 18th season. Interestingly enough, the two were teammates for just one year in 2010. I thought they were teammates longer than that. Which Johnson's last season in Cincinnati and Jones first. It's uh, unclear why Johnson did want to take on Jones, regardless of the reason we will not see the two square off against each other, but Jones could end up fighting someone else. Damn, I, I thought Pac-Man was drafted in the 2000s, bro. The late 2000s, but they said 2010. Sheesh. Damn, I thought he got into so much trouble. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm thinking, my bad. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, I, I'm thinking he was drafted by the Bengals, but he wasn't. He drafted by the Titans, and then he played for the Cowboys, then he played for the Bengals, then he played for the Buccaneers. So, Jesus, man. Time fly. He was drafted in 2005. I knew he was drafted in the early 2000s, bro. That's, he was in the Alex Smith, Aaron Rodgers draft. He was a sixth pick. By the Titans, man, time fly by. He got into so much trouble, man. And, you know, he got into the fight at the airport not too long ago. He got into some more trouble. It just Trouble just seemed to find Pac-Man. But uh, he came out of West Virginia. Cedric Benson, rest in peace, was in that draft. Cadillac Jones in the draft. Remember him and Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Brown's number two pick in the bath draft. I don't, I don't know, was there another time where two running backs from the same school when the two top five was Ronnie Brown and, and, and um, Cadillac Williams. They were uh, a good tandem in, at Auburn. I remember that, you know. Um, they were a tremendous tandem, bro. Uh, Alabama is made up of small towns. He's from like Gaston, Alabama. And Brown's from Georgia. I mean, Antron Rowe was in that draft. Jesus. Troy Williamson, receivers from Minnesota in that draft. Demarcus Ware was in that draft. Mike Williams, a receiver. With the Lions messed up on that draft. Talking about Detroit Child, Marcy Sports, Sports Talk, right on YouTube. Thomas Jones, the linebacker, was in that draft. We're still playing today. Derrick Johnson, line. Yeah, that was a David Pollock bust his neck up. Matt Jones, he was a quarterback turned receiver. Roddy White was in that draft. And Rogers obviously was in that draft. Heath Miller was in that draft. Logan Mankins was in that draft. Jeez, that was a that was a, that was a good draft. Yeah, that was a good draft. Jesus, Frank Gore was in that draft. Um, so I understand Chad not wanting to fight his homeboy. Um. Not sure if they was homeboys. Honestly, I'm not even sure they was homeboys. Cause they only played. Maybe they was. They only played one season together. They only played one season together. And uh, Pac-Man was from Atlanta, so you know they only played one season together. Man, he went to Westlake High School. So he was a Pro Bowler in '15. That was with the Bengals. So he only played. He only played with Chad one year. Let me double check that, man. Let me double check that. Let me double check that. Let me check that. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was it was uh, Chad Johnson last year, so I really don't really understand. You know, maybe they cool. You know, and it sounded like Pac Man was down to fight him. So I mean, for the most part, don't understand why, why Chad, why Chad didn't want to fight him. I don't I don't know if he seen Pac Man fight in the airport throwing them hands. I don't want none of them hands. I don't want none of that. I don't know if it was that or it was just simply you know maybe they was cool. But Pac Man seemed to be down with it. You know, so I don't know who he's going to face. You hear people talking about Ray Lewis. After Ray Lewis hit him in the, in the end zone, he don't want that. So, I mean, just running up some names. I mean, was he fighting some? I mean, Chad only six foot, six one. Um, that's interesting. Why not fight Brandon Marshall? They do all that arguing on the, on the, uh, more than, more than athlete. You know, was I am an athlete, whatever it's called. Um, Ron Artest, Kendall Gill might be too tough for him. Uh, why the fuck he just don't fight Logan Paul, Jake Paul? You know, I mean, maybe that's too tough for him. Um, man, some guys out there, former NFL players. Oh, man. I, I really can't think of nobody right now. Michael Phelps. <laughs> that's oh man, I, I mean, Adam Jones seemed to be seemed to be pretty good. You know, he do. Um, Bernard Marshall, only one I can really think of. I don't know which football players do box or not, or, or do their thing, but like I said before, I mean, Adam Jones would have been entertained. I would have tuned in for that. Adam Jones would have been entertained because Adam Jones was throw hands. And I'm pretty sure Adam Jones probably got a little experience with boxing if he's watching, if he's doing it. Maybe maybe he knew Adam Jones was going to, you know, put them hands on him. Because that's all. Adam had more fighting experience than Chad. But Chad look good, man. Chad got good footwork, good balance. Chad, well, he's been doing boxing before. And Chad, a natural athlete. You know, you can see the way Chad moving the ring on his toes. Good footwork. You know, throw the punches the right way. So, um, you know, maybe he just said he wasn't fighting him. And if he had beef with somebody in the league, why not? The way him and Brandon Marshall argue. Brandon Marshall, a big man, dude. Brandon Marshall, every bit of what? Let me see. Brandon Marshall, every bit of 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Remember he said he wanted to fight Deontay Wilder? Yeah, he's 6'5". He every bit of 6'5". Yep, so. Yeah, from Pittsburgh. But, um, I just don't know what, what former football players box or basketball players box. Um, I knew what to do. Uh, Kalimba Edwards, was it? Some Edwards, he played for the uh, Vikings, he boxed. We had the dude that played for Notre Dame and they're going to the league. The uh, Polish cat, he boxed. Tom, something. There's a few dudes that box. It might be a little bit too heavy for Chad, but hey. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All my links in the description. Reach out anytime you got business, question, inquiry, response, your video quest. Hit me on my social media links there. Facebook group link there as well, too. If you want to make a, uh, when I advertise your business on the channel, video quest, whatever it may be, hit me up, Twitter, the best way. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best of the donation. Share the video. Peace.